I got a very disturbing phone call from a TP parent. They came here with a kid who was not from at all, went through the spiral of dropping out of Yiddishkeit, dropping out of school, dropping out of life, very depressed, on drugs. And before coming here, they called Shomrim and Hatzala. The kid was put into a psych ward. The kid was suicidal. All of this type of stuff that many of you experienced, the tension in the house for over two years was horrible. The fighting, the parents fighting with each other, mommy's always crying, daddy's always screaming, or sometimes daddy's always crying and mommy's always screaming. And just the tension on the other kids and the other kids falling apart and being embarrassed of bringing friends home, all of it. Baruch Hashem, they came here and they had super success. To the extent that the neighbor came over and said, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. And, and they're here only a few months. Okay? Your son is totally different. He's so calm. He started being friendly. He started coming outside and he's not angry and looking for a fight. He's calm. The house is calm. The parents are calm. Since then, so many things changed. He has not been in the psych ward again. No suicidal ideation, which we have many, many times. No Shomer or Hatzalah are being called. The other kids are just happier. The pressure is off. Mom and dad are on the same page. We have a problem, but the problem, instead of having all the other problems, all those other problems are gone. And now we just have a kid with a lot of problems, a kid who went through a lot of stuff, but he's happier. He feels he has parents who understand him. And we're really on the derech for Bezrat Hashem, or as they say, Bezras Hashem, a lot of recovery. What's the issue? The issue is that this neighbor is going through the same thing that these parents were going through. But this neighbor is still going through it. So the neighbor came over and said, I'm amazed at, at, at the change and I see your other kids and everybody's happy and everything's calm and I spoke to him and he's, he's just doing much better and he hasn't been in the psych ward and her son is still in the eye of the storm. She says, what did you do? She says, we went to a guy, Avi Fishoff. So she says, oh, I heard he's very controversial. So we're not going to. I don't care for me. I don't get paid. And less business for me is less of a, a burden on my shoulders, less money to have to collect for in the KIPP fund to give out. And less, but here's a family suffering, suffering when so many people can get helped. And they're not coming here. Now, what does controversial mean? So there's two ways that a person could be controversial. One way could be in the eyes of Torah, which is usually what people make mean. Usually when they say someone's controversial, he's not going according to the Torah. All of you can testify that in order to be here, you need to sign a shtar, you will sign that you will not do anything, you will not implement anything without your rav. That's what I made you sign. I don't accept anybody without your Das Torah writing a letter that they will pass in any Shilas. Nobody else does that. Plus, I have over 300 Askamas. How could somebody say that I'm controversial if, look at the, the names of the written Askamas and the testimonies and the videos and the parents who were sent by so many huge Gedailim. Could it be that there's another Gadol that wants to do things differently? That's fine. And they should go somewhere else. But you can't say that somebody is controversial from a Torah perspective when they have even one Haskama from a Gadol Adar. Just an Avamin Skarebus Chusyag and Aleinu. You can't say I'm controversial. But plus, all the other ones, Rabbi Yosef Rosenblum, Zatzal, Chusyag and Aleinu, who sent to me, Yibad Alachayim, Rabbi Shah Wolfson Shlita, Rabbi Shmuel Kamenetsky Shlita. Like, how many do we have from past and present, Rabbi Chatzko Roth, Chusyag and Aleinu? They wrote and they sent and they. They came down here, they spoke to the parents, they met the parents, we have videos with the parents. How could you stamp somebody and look at that Lush and Hara, at the damage that these people, they're living in Gehenna every single day. It's affecting the Shalom Bayis, it's affecting the other kids, and it's affecting this kip from, getting, from coming back. And it's, it's just mind-boggling to me how somebody could talk Lush and Hara and, and not even realize the damage that they're causing, and it's hurting people. The other side is, controversial, not according to the Torah, controversial that I say things that are different than the mainstream professional world. Okay, do research. We do do things different than the mainstream world. And I deal with parents who tried that other stuff and it did not work for them. But if someone has more success, much more, than the regular mainstream way, 
to be stamped controversial is hurting people. So I'm just saying this in pain. If you're out there and you're in a situation that you need my services, just call me. I give you a hundred references of Rabbanim and parents. I give you phone numbers for you to do your research. I give all the haskamas and endorsements, clinical endorsements from professionals and top therapists who support what I do, who have been here and who understand it. And call the, the, the haskamas is about 300 letters. Call them, find out, do your research. Don't just believe everything you hear that's negative. For some reason, people repeat negative things. Nothing's perfect, we try our best, we daven, but it's, it's just sad that people hear things and repeat things and don't really do their own research.